Assalamu alaikum semester 7 how are you people i do hope and believe that everybody is perfectly well and trying to enjoy this era of colonial holidays that have been further decorated with decorated by um, the siberian winds and that have caused uh, the bitter cold in our part of the world and uh, i don't want to offend anybody who is um, in uh, good relations with uh, this um, uh, winter season and uh, i mean this is in this is a period of enjoyment uh, for the souls who uh, love winters and um, we, we we also acknowledge those individuals here coming back to what we were discussing we were discussing about our course south asian literature and uh, we have completed our discussion on poetry and drama today we are going to talk about the first um, piece of fiction here this is the novel by arundhati roy arundhati roy the god of small things and um, as you can see on the very title it's the winner of the book of prize as well um, skipping all the uh, introductory details as to where she was born uh, I mean Arundhati Roy and when this uh, novel was published let's come um, in contact with the text first and this is uh, something that we usually miss uh, while we study literature in our classes and um, uh, and as I said earlier uh, it has been our focus to familiarize ourselves as much as we can with the text um, and um, and basically it is the text that answers the question that are asked uh, or that may be asked uh, related to some uh, particular work so here we are with the chapter one paradise pickles and preserves and um, again the question may be uh, there in your mind as to what the summary of this whole novel is uh, i think we do not need to waste any time on the summary of the, uh, this story on this of this fictional world created by Arundhati Roy uh, you people already have this summary in mind it is basically a story of um, uh, a woman and um, her two uh, children uh, the twins Rahir and Asta and how do they uh, get to see uh, the end of their uh, I mean journey that started um, while these twins were uh, seven years old and uh, and and that ended when they were 31 years old so basically this is a story um, and uh, we need to find what else is there uh, in in the form of uh, knowledge related to the culture language and way of life uh, that and way of life and the lives of the people that are uh, there in kerala uh, the part of india and uh, here we are at aminum uh, it again it's a part of or a place uh, in kerala main aminum is a hot brooding month the days are long and humid the river shrinks and black goes gorge on bright mangoes in still dust green trees red bananas ripen jackfruits burst dissolute blue bottles hum vacuously in the fruity air then they sun then they stun themselves against clear window panes and die fatly baffled in the sun the nights are clear but suffused with sloth and sullen expectation but by early June, the southwest monsoon breaks, and there are three months of wind and water with short spells of sharp, glittering sunshine that thrill children snatch to play with. Uh, what do these lines suggest to you people? This is the description that uh, Randhati Roy is giving. Um, uh, and, and this is what uh, his, uh, this is what her um, expertise is all about. Uh, she, this is, uh, this is how she, she is in depicting uh, the atmosphere the scenery uh, around so you can um, uh, I mean write this point if uh, if anything is asked asked related to 
the writing style of arundhati roy how she uh, or her range how is she uh, how does she depict the atmosphere or the scenery or the setting it was raining when rahul came back to mnm and slanted his slippers a rope slammed into loose earth blowing it blowing it up like gunfire the old house on the hill wore its steep and again this is the description of the place the house itself looked empty the doors and windows were locked the front veranda bare unfurnished this word veranda is it there in any part of the world i mean do you find it in um, british culture do you find it in um, america no uh, this is something that is related to south asia and um, this is how uh, this fictional work is the work of um, this uh, can be included under the canon of south asian literature unfurnished but the sky blue plymouth with chrome tail fins was still parked outside inside baby kuchama was still alive she was rahul's baby grand aunt her grandfather's uh, grandfather's younger sister her name was really uh, navomi navomi epe but everybody called her baby she became baby kuchama when she was old enough to be an aunt to be an aunt rahul hadn't come to see her though neither niece nor baby grand aunt labored under any illusions on that account rahul had come to see her brother astha so we are in getting ourselves introduced to these characters we got to know about rahul and astha they, they are the twin brothers and sister um and their aunt that is baby kuchamma they were two egg twins uh and born from separate but simultaneously fertilized eggs uh they were two egg twins this is something you will be mentioning while talking about astha and rahul because this is something from the text who were uh, what was the relation between astha and rahul you can i mean you can say that they are sister and brother but if you mention this particular line they were two egg twins you will definitely get a, get an edge over others because you are referring here to the text so this is something uh, which is very important and this is why we are reading uh, the text uh, we will answering the questions related to uh, this story how the characters are uh, suffering in it how do they um face the realities and existential realities and how do they um live their lives and what their aspirations were and um what was their story we will 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 be answering all that from these uh, lines from the text yes uh, you can easily answer the questions by um summarizing or giving some um summary uh, from internet or online resource that may be true but again if you don't read the text uh, you are not fulfilling the objective of this course uh again we, we were at yes this paragraph they were two egg twins astha astafan was the older by 18 minutes they never did look much like each other astha and rahul and even when they were thin arm children flat chested warm written and alvis presley puffed uh, who is alvis presley uh, and it's it's it is your task to um, get to know about uh, this word this known alvis presley of course it some it is it is a reference to some person a celebrity um just look at the language here they were thin armed children flat chested worm written and alvis presley puffed there was none of the usual who is who and which is which from over smiling relatives of the syrian orthodox bishops who frequently visited the amenem house for donations uh, the confusion lay in a deeper more secret place uh, and th- this is the, this is how the use of uh, adjectives have been made by arundhati roy she is presenting to us um, those twins the picture and we we um as if we are in we we are seeing them in the form of some picture 
through these words thin arm children flat chested worm ridden alvis presley puffed the confusion lay in, uh, in those early amorphous years when memory had only just begun when life was full of beginnings and no end and everything was forever Estefan and Rahel thought of themselves together as me and separately individually as we or us, as though they were a rare breed of Siamese uh, twins, physically separate but with joint identities. So this is how they were close. Uh, this is the relation between the brother and sister. And uh, the, this, is, this is one of the important themes of this uh, fictional work, this novel. And it may be asked in the paper, um, how does... Um, the relation between Est and Rahil unravels or unfolds as the story progresses. You people need to answer this question by referring, by giving reference to the text here. We are reading right now. She has other memories too. Now, these years later, Rahil has a memory of waking up one night giggling at Esther's funny dream. She has other memories too that she has uh, no right to have. She remembers, for instance, uh, what the orange drink, lemon drink man did to Esther Abilash talkies. She remembers the taste of the tomato sand sandwiches, as the sandwiches that as the ate on the matras meal to matras, and these are only the small things. Anyway, now she thinks of Esther and Rahel as them because separately the two of them are no longer what they were or thought that they would be ever. Their lives have a size and shape now. Esther has his and Rahel hers. Edges, borders, boundaries, brinks, and limits have appeared like a team of trolls on their separate horizons. Short creatures with long shadows. Um, I, you people can skip these the uh, these details. Coming back, coming now, coming to Amu, the protagonist of this uh, story. Who is Amu? Amu is the Ami Nurtu. I mean, basically, she is mother of Astan Rahil. And this is how you will be describing her. Amu was when she died. She was 31, not old, not young, but a viable, diable age. Remember these lines, keep um, repeating them so that you uh, can uh, write them down whenever asked about Amu. Uh, how uh, was Amu? I mean, how did she look like? She was not old, not young, but a viable, diable age viable diable age so uh, you can easily um, point to uh, the language here viable diable age this is what uh, this is something uh, this is something the originality of arundhati roy um is my language focus focus viable diable age ke marne ke kabil ek viable hota viable ko matlab hai ke ek जो चीज मतलब आप कहते हैं ना ये वायबल सॉल्यूशन है कि नहीं बनता है कि नहीं तो मरने वाली एज मतलब एक डायबल कोई मरने वाली एज थोड़ी होती है किसी की लेकिन अरुंधति रॉय जब ये कह रही है कि वायबल डायबल एज जो 31 साल की उम्र में ना वायबल भी थी डायबल भी थी डायबल एज कह देना ही काफी एक मजा का खेस है रिडिकुलस सा बन जाता है तो आप ये कह लें कि बहुत ही तल्ख हकायक को बहुत ही मुस्कुराहट के साथ वो बयान कर रही है अरुंधति रॉय ये कोई अच्छा एक्सप्रेशन मतलब ये कोई मजाक वाली बात नहीं है लेकिन उसने कह दिया कि भाई कि वायबल डायबल एज थी उसकी 31 और ये आपने ये लाइनें ऐसे ही याद करनी है अमू के बारे में जब बताना है आपने बताना है कि भाई नॉट ओल्ड नॉट यंग बट अ वायबल डायबल एज 31 इयर्स की वो थी ये लाइन ऐसे ही लिखनी है जब आपने पेपर में इसको लिखना है तो आपने तीन लाइनों में लिखना है इसको क्योंकि जब आप मेंशन करते हैं टेक्स्ट को तो आप बिल्कुल जैसा होता है वैसे लिखना है एक फिक्रे में नहीं लिख देना है इसको इसी तरह लिखना है वहां पे और इससे पहले जो भी लाइन आई है जनाब वो थी आ, ये इनके ट्विंस के बारे में एस्ट एंड राहुल दे वर टू एक्ट ट्विंस ये भी आपने याद रखनी है लाइन इसको भी जब भी इनका जिक्र आता है तो उसके बारे में तो इस तरीके से हम ये चल चल रहे हैं जी लेके अब ये क्वेश्चन हो जी थीम्स के हैं और कौन से क्वेश्चन आने कौन सा नहीं टेक्स्ट अगर आपने पढ़ा हो तो आप हर आंसर हर क्वेश्चन का आंसर कर सकते हैं कोई टेक्निक सीखनी चाहिए हमें कि हम टेक्स्ट के थ्रू और बेसिकली टेक्स्ट के टेक्स्ट ही के थ्रू आंसर आना चाहिए और जो आंसर पहले दिए गए होते हैं ठीक है वो भी अच्छा है लिखा है तो आप कॉपी की कॉपी क्यों कर रहे हैं भाई अपने आंसर खुद बनाए आपको जब समझ आ गई है कि ये मतलब चीजें होती हैं लिटरेचर के अंदर तो आप खुद से निकाले ना जवाब इसके अब अमू के बारे में थोड़ा वो पता लग गया आपको और इसके बाद एस्ता राहल का पता लग गया तो 
ये था जी आज का हमारा थोड़ा सा इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट इसको बाद में हम देखते हैं क्या है मजीद स्टोरी के अंदर